Okay, well we got all our pecs run. And all our threaded pipe run. As you can see, up in that, uh, against that floor joist. Got the red and the uh, blue pecs in for supply and return. This is the return. What we did was we have a direct that goes into the return of the boiler and that can be shut off and put a zone valve in here too. Didn't hook it up yet. So that way you can just bypass the zone valve and let it valve and let it gravity flow if you want. That's it, it's running. That's where we have it up in the into the living room put a couple of drains on there so you can actually drain the radiators if you need to and some valves on the return side so you can actually uh, blast the air out of this uh, drain here so it's up there it's heating and the old baromatic van work turned off for a few hours and the plumbing was done. Turn the switch back on and well, that was a half an hour ago. So full recovery. Here's what it looks like upstairs. Getting uh clear out of there. About 140 in the supply and turning about 122. Looks like we got a dripper. Oh well, it's always one. thermometer here we've got 120 degrees so starting to smell the pain on them <laughs> we'll see how it goes stoker's still running it's gonna take it a long time to recover now boiler temperature was down to about about 120 degrees, it's too low. Now it's putting out about 174. Don't know what it's getting back because our temperature gauge is above the return. Actually, I do see something on it. It's like 160. That's about right. Hmm. Right now I have domestic water zone and the coil and the ductwork turned off. Got to get this valve here. And that valve over there is off. And I have the pump forced on. So the pump is going to keep pumping. It's constantly circulating water through the radiators. The radiators, uh, you know, they're a big thermal mass, so they're going to suck a lot of heat out of the boiler. But once they get up to temperature, they should be pretty stable. We'll see. This little boiler might not like it too much. Draft's doing. Flying draft is running right about, I don't know, minus, one, one, two, minus 0.25. Pretty good. Can't complain about that. Some more coal in the barrel tonight. 
been starting to get a little low. Let's go up and look at the radiators. And there they are, silently cooking away. According to these gauges, getting 150 in and 145 in the return. Got a little pan for my little leak. So yeah, these things are cruising right along here. Little thermometers at about 120. It's kind of you know a little too long for this, so I don't know. It'll give us an idea. At least we know they're hot. They feel hot. The paint feels a little soft, they're that hot. It wasn't a big deal to get all the air out of them. Must have done something right. Had enough open up valves and bleeders and stuff to get all the air out. I don't hear anything strange. I'm just going to leave the pump forced on for, I don't know, maybe I'll leave it overnight. Who knows? Get these things nice and heated up. This is the coldest night this winter so far. It's supposed to be about zero. The winds are going to be howling like crazy. So that right there is the coldest part of the house because of that window. And the door needs to be replaced. It's really pretty in bad shape. The storm door is in bad shape too. So that should get this side of the house warmed up pretty well. We'll see you tomorrow morning.